We're sitting in the central utility plant for the university. Uh, we call it the Summit Street Central Utility Plant. The plant not only produces steam for heat and hot water on the campus, but we also produce electricity and chilled water for uh, most of the, the campus. What makes it unique is the combination of two processes. One, the power generation with a, what's called a combustion turbine, which is basically a jet engine. And the exhaust heat from that jet engine or combustion turbine is put into what's basically a boiler. And that excess heat is used to generate steam. So you're combining two processes to have a better overall efficiency than just two separate processes. Kent State uses about 110 million kilowatt hours. About 80 million of those 110 kilowatt hours are used at the Kent campus, and approximately 50% of that, or 40 million kilowatt hours, are generated by this CHP facility. To give it in good terms, we provide enough power to power approximately 3,600 homes for a year. We got a minimum staffing of two station engineers here around the clock. On days, we actually have four usually because there's some project work to do. Basically, an operator in there, he, you know, he can control most of the systems with the click of a mouse and a screen. Uh, they have various screens they can monitor to check some of their systems. They can also put chillers off and on there to mix up their uh, loads. One of the jobs they perform, probably the main one, is to uh, try and optimize that equipment so they hit those sweet spots. As we move forward, we're looking at new ways to operate the power plant to make it even more efficient. Long term, we hope to also tie in our solar system down at the field house and any other generation systems that we might add, wind power, other solar assets. And all that would be tuned together to maximize our ability to operate the plant at its most efficient level and minimize the costs of operating the campus.